Bottom, the story of a wealthy family who lost everything, and the one man who had no choice but to tear them all apart. It's stunted development. It's Halloween night. The stage has been set. Welcome back to episode 8 of Stunted Development, where we're going to have a wedding, and it's going to be absolutely incredible. Nothing will be spared. Eleanor's already drinking because it's getting a lot of alcohol for her to marry a wrinkly old man who we're going to kill and take all of his money. But that is exactly what we're doing because I've asked around the real people who uh, represent these losers and we need to get out of this town. It is killing us and not just all the fires. It's killing us in the sense that everyone's famous and no one wants to talk to us. We need to get somewhere where people don't know about our family's history. I just saw you lunge at each other as per usual. What are you doing? What, what, what? No, no, you're the wrong person. You're Eleanor. What are you doing? Listen. Well, I can't seem to find anything. Kiss, no, see? Yeah, you had me with the listen, but then you went for the kiss. I'm not a fool, whoever you are. Oh, Adam, you're the one. You're an hour. Talk about self. You're not doing that either. Are we ready to get married? I think we are. Well, the guests aren't ready, but come on. Come on, guests. Like, the joy of the wedding's in the after party, and you're just standing around watching TV. We're about to get millions and millions of dollars. Here comes Katie Jones. Hi, Kate. What the hell? Katie Jones just, uh, walked through the chimney. So I don't think she is doing okay. But, you know, live and let live. Here we are. It's Eleanor Stark's wedding. Everyone is wearing black because of the funeral of our innocence. Come on. Come on. Focus on the wedding. Katie, Chloe, wedding. Chloe, turn around. No, Katie, turn around. Just everyone turn around and face the wedding. I mean, this is like half the guests. Katie, turn around. Face the wedding. Katie, you're crying into the bush. Katie, here comes this rando. God, Katie's just, she's ruined the wedding. Oh, here come the rest of the stragglers. Come on, hi for your Ella Butcher. Yep, Lauren, you just, okay. Oh, here come the flowers. Here comes Iron, he's here to catch the last minute. Probably uh, busy flirting with Adam. Adam's not even here. Here comes Aisha. Come on. Oh my God, we are so, so rich. $98,771. This man pulled in the money. Everyone, we can leave this dump. We can get a house with a bigger gate so you can actually all leave the garden instead of standing there with disgruntled looks upon your faces. Are you all leaving the wedding now? Or no, we're just going in to have the after party, which is fantastic. I hear it's going to be lit. Let's, honestly, I'm so happy for us. You are going to take a photo. You're going to cut the wedding cake. Fantastic. I'm really proud of you guys. Especially you, Eleanor. You got us money. You want to gain a celebrity star level. You've got this. You've got this. See game at stadium. Yeah. Yeah. And now you've got your uh, wealthy husband. Am I right? Where's your husband? Is he on this list? Here. Wealthy husband. He doesn't say he's rich anymore. Is he not rich anymore? Did he did marrying into this household make him not a wealthy husband anymore? Because if you see the ghost of this man, is it really going to satisfy you? Because he used to say he was rich, but now he's not. Is it because we're rich and he's no longer rich in comparison? I don't know. I don't know. I would say we're pretty rich considering we just took all of this man's money. We went, we were up like $90,000 today. So I'd say pretty good. Fiorella Butcher looks demented. She knows what we're going to do. Oh, and she's just uh, whipping out her phone for some reason. Taking a picture of this man. Are you going to call the FBI? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Who broke the shower? I don't know. But anyway, Eleanor, we're going to see the ghost of this man. And if you're not satisfied, I'll be satisfied. Eli Stark has a household net worth of 100,000 simoleons. Well, yeah, you used to have. Now it's our net worth. Oh my god, it gets even better. He has his car in his inventory, and it's worth $85,000. Oh my god, we have $183,000. This is the happiest day of my life. 
I'm blown away of our success. I couldn't have dreamed eight episodes ago that this would be where we are. I, I probably could have dreamed that should it happen, this would be the manner that it did, because we weren't going to get here through hard work and self-sacrifice. But I'm very impressed nonetheless. Eleanor, you're fantastic. Iron, don't pass out. You're anxious to advance. Well, you don't need a career anymore, Iron. We're rich. We're absolutely loaded. You can devote all your time to failing at flirting with Adam. And Eli Stark, we're going to sell your camera too. Oh, we can't. Wow. You're really dragging the household down. We've got your university diploma. Can we sell it? No. This book is worth $780. Sell it. What else have you got? $120. Sell it. Oh, we're pawning off all this man's possessions. $90 umbrella. You don't need that. And you can't, you can't sell the camera, but who cares? We are so rich, we don't even need to care anymore. We can pay someone else to care for me. Chloe Everton is going stir-crazy, which is the most recent kind of crazy for anyone in this household to be going, but by far not the most extreme. Uh, Eleanor, if you'd stop talking to your husband and go to bed. Everyone needs a nice restful sleep. Your husband doesn't have a bed, but uh, he doesn't need a restful sleep. We don't care about him. That isn't even Eleanor. Who's that? Oh my god, it's Lena Lancaster. What are you doing on my patio? The, you weren't even invited to the wedding. And it's one in the morning and the wedding is over. You, what, you want to flirt with my husband? Go ahead, go ahead. You won't be alive by the end of the episode. Do whatever you want, Lena Lancaster. Yeah, go away. Just go away. He's thinking about how he doesn't have any money, which is scarily accurate. He knows what's happening to him. Is he running away? No, he's coming into the house. What a fool. What a fool. What a fool. Lena Lancaster, if you'd leave, please. And you. You're one of one of the... You're cleaning our dishes, at least, which is very nice. But Lena... No, Lena. Lena, don't come in my house. Lena Lancaster. Lena, you stay outside. Don't. Do not. Do. Oh, my God. Somebody get out. You. Get rid of her. Do something useful with your miserable life. What's she doing to you? Listen to pickup line. She has... She's come to our house on our wedding day to flirt with our husband. Come on, Lena Lancaster. And now you're flirting with this man. Lena, you're such a hoe. Honestly. The town slut, they call you. Honestly. And it's not, not in a nice way either. Oh my god, she is flirting. She's literally asking if he's single. Lena. God. This woman, she is a slut. She makes us look like respectful Christian members of society. Honestly, she moves fast. Get her out of this house. Oh my god. Iron thinks Adam is being extremely irresistible. I think we can try for our first kiss. Yeah, everybody, let's watch Iron and Adam's first kiss. Oh, for... I hate you. I hate you both. You're the... You're the honestly. Like, there's on again, off again, and then there's being mentally deluded, and that's what you are. You're deluded. You, you won't kiss. You, that's too far. How could... This is their first kiss. Honestly, I don't... I'm blown away. Absolutely blown away. Oh, just continue flirting. Yeah. You, you're the king of mixed signals. And also, it's not your first kiss. You've been kissing every episode for the past four... You're doing it right now! It's, and that's not your first kiss. I'm done. I'm done with you people. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not. I can't. I can't. You romantic interest. Oh, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Adam, it means nothing to you. It means nothing to anyone. Who, what's this weird old man come out here to do? What? Talk about books. You're not relevant. You're not relevant and you're going to die. Well, I've, I've done it. I'm, I'm done. Hope you're happy, viewers. Iron Treasure and Adam Cunningham have finally made their moving kiss. Oh, yeah, they've finally done it. Oh, we were waiting. Iron has a naughty reputation. Everyone has a naughty reputation. We're evil. We're bad people. God. God. The world's just terrible. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't be a guiding force in the Iron and Adam relationship. Because they're awful people. They don't do what I tell them. They reject each other. And then as soon as I don't tell them, oh yeah, you do whatever you want. It's, all they want is to spite me and the bathroom's flooded and I don't care and the world's bad. Eleanor, go use the toilet. God, I can't, I can't, I can't deal with people who all they want to do is be like spiteful and nasty and what have you come out here to do, Chloe Everton? What? 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 What are you doing? What is it? 
something mean, something rude. Oh, God, I hate you all, especially you, old man. You haven't done anything, but I blame you for all my life's problems. God, look at that face. Look at the old man's sneer that this man has. This is... Oh, God. And what did Lena Lancaster see in you? Money, money, it was money. We can get photography skill, whatever you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, go at it now. See if I care. I'm going to get you to fight this old man. That's what I care about now. Oh. Eleanor, are you posing for photos with the maid? What are you up to? Don't walk off. What's going on here? Eleanor, are you milking your fame with the maid? A fake passing out? Why is that an option? Is that because you're famous now? You've become a total attention whore. You already... The Sims are starting to catch on that something is up between Adam and Irene. Oh, are they? Oh, these Sims... They're five steps ahead. They're playing 3D chess. How could they figure that out? Yeah, they might want to tone it down before someone gets hurt. Uh, we've already been hurt. Everyone's been hurt. Adam has hurt... Oh, what are you doing now? Criticise his family. You're his family, Eleanor. That's you. You're criticising... Your so fame's gone to your head. Things... Things are going bad. They're going from bad to worse. We need to make the executive decision and get out of this town right now. Hold on. Iron is about to accuse Adam of cheating. D Why? Why? What? You're... You're the one he's cheating on Holly with. You're not... Oh my god. The entire romantic relationship is ruined. All because... You accused him of cheating when you were the... He wasn't even cheating. You were the one who was cheating. You're the one with a girlfriend. You're the one who's the cheater. Oh, so aggravating. I can't. I can't. I can't even try with the Adam and Iron relationship. It's not. It's just... It's falling apart. It's a complete whirlwind. It does the exact opposite of whatever you think it's going to do. It's on again, off again. Rachel and Ross to the wildest of extremes and I have no idea what's going to come of it. How is your relationship with Adam? Can we, can you rectify this at all? Because the viewers will be very disappointed, especially since I hyped them up so much. Okay, partner Holly, honestly, honestly, you're the cheats. You're the cheats. Can't accuse each other of cheating. Welcome to episode eight of Stunted Development. This is Eleanor Stark. And this is her husband, Eli. And we are getting the hell out of this town. This town has destroyed us. It, this town brought us Iron and Adam. And then it, then it ruined Iron and Adam. It ruined Holly and Iron. It ruined all of our romantic relationships. You light that fire. You light that. We don't want to talk. We don't. We're done with all of you. Morgan Claremont, the married man who asked Aisha on a date... The failed gold dig attempt. Light it. Light it. Set our piece of shit house ablaze. And we know it's going to do it. Because for some reason this house is made of stuffed Chinese newspapers. Come on, Eleanor. Come on. We are done. We are done. Set this place on fire. Burn us to the ground. Kill our wealthy husband. And put us out of our misery. Please, God Burn my house to the ground. Conventional methods have not worked. I do not find it surprising that after all these years, God refuses to take a call from me. Because after all, I am the one who is about to set this man on fire. I have successfully barricaded the house, but the Sims appear to have outsmarted it. But either way, I have at my disposal some face melter fireworks. That's what they're actually called. Eleanor, please, if you would do the honours, put this family out of its misery. Do it now, and then get the hell out of there. Get out of there. Run, Eleanor. Get out of that room. Good. Oh, dear. A catastrophe has occurred. Our poor, old, wealthy husband is burning. Eleanor, no. No, 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 Eleanor. First rule of arson school, don't go and stand in the fire. Oh, no, listen. Oh, all this effort I put into barricading the house. Oh, dear. 
Oh my god, how could this have occurred? If only we'd have purchased a fire alarm after the numerous, numerous fires we've had in this house. Eleanor Stark, I don't see how this doesn't fulfill your wish to perform a fireworks extravaganza. Because this is the extravaganza of my dreams. Burn. Burn it down. Burn the piles of laundry that no one has cleaned. Burn the broken television and the piece of shit curtains that cost hundreds of dollars to replace. You can burn those flowers that we got from the date that imploded with Holly for Iron's new relationship that just imploded with Adam. You can burn my, uh oh, don't burn Holly. No, 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 no God, please. No, 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 be reasonable, be reasonable. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Quick, Lauren, put out Holly. No, not Iron, not Iron, don't, no, no. Ah, uh oh, uh oh, this, this plan went terribly wrong. This plan's gone terribly wrong. Somebody put out Iron. He's my favorite. Extinguish him. Adam, you coward. Come on, come on. Lauren, Lauren Stewart's the hero that we need. Can we not extinguish Adam? Oh my God. Oh my God. This is, oh dear Lord. The Grim Reaper extinguished the fire. Death himself has saved Iron Treasure. I knew he was God. Oh my God. We've done it. Eleanor, how happy are you right now? It's the ghost of your wealthy husband. Go and see him. Where are you? You're standing in that room. You're missing your lifetime dream, Eleanor. Is that... Are you the neighbours? Oh my God. Get out of here. Death, do the honours. Lay this man to rest. Don't go have a bath. Your lifetime dream is occurring right now, Eleanor. Go and witness the ghost of your wealthy husband. Do it. God. Oh, Chloe, you just pissed yourself. That, that is embarrassing. 20,000 lifetime happiness points. She's so... Oh, yes. Eleanor's happy. This has made her happy. Her lifetime dream has been occurred. And just walk away. That's all she needed. You want to have some sentimental value? Not really. Even your ghost stinks. Get in that grave. Get in the grave. Adam, stop crying. This is a happy event. Happy, 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 happy. Big smiles. Big smiles. Come on. Oh, Eleanor's broken hearted. Oh, dear. Oh, God. You witnessed death. Not like a, you know, you had anything to do with it. Morning. Death of a loved one. You knew him for 12 hours. Come on. Come on, Iron, your life was saved because of that. But you still feel betrayed. Everyone's in a terrible mood. And really, I can only blame this piece of shit town. Who are you? You're just taking our alcohol. We need that alcohol. We just burnt in a terrible fire. Holly's literally singed. Oh, God, everyone's weeping. Stop weeping. It's fine. Iron's more concerned about the toilet. But, Iron, you've got a lot going on. Okay, right. Emotions are running high right now, but this is how we end episode 8 of Stunted Development. Everyone is crying, everyone is burnt, and somehow also flooded. The fire never really burnt those laundry clothes, so we're really going to have to deal with that. The wedding cake's still sitting there, and the husband has finally been cast into a little shitty box. I can only hope that in the next town, we have a better quality of life. Otherwise, Eleanor's going to have to kill another man. On the next Stunted Development, Eleanor Stark sleeps peacefully. 